At least 32 civilians were killed and over 150 injured in Libya following clashes between two rival militia groups in the capital Tripoli. The recent clashes come less than a month after the last infighting in which two groups, loyal to Abdul Hamid Dabeba, clashed with each other and 16 were left dead. The recent clashes went on for two days on August 26th and 27th, raising concerns over the resumption of war in the country. كان يوم صعب في الترابلس كلها هي نسأل الله رب العرش العظيم إن العمل هذا ما عشي يصير الناس شو مطلبهم الناس تبي الاستقرار تبي مؤسسة عسكرية مؤسسة شرطة يعني بش الفوضى هذه ما عشي يصير يعني هذا مطلب الناس الله الأضرار قدامكم الدنيا كلها نحرق وتحياش الناس سيارات كذا يصار كنا نبينا لعلينا ما في حتى حاجة ساعة واحد في الليل ونسمع في الضرب بشوية هنا كان في شارعنا وبعدين نتقدم القدام بعدين الميليشيات جو هنا لوطة تحت العمارة وصار فيها الضرب ما قدرناش نطلع وتحاصرنا كنا ما ناشا مش أول مرة ديما هيك لا لانتا بنقعد وهيك هنا صار المرشد كسروا سياراتنا نحرقت كلها وعلى عينكم انتو شوفوا Libya is currently being ruled by two governments. The internationally recognized Government of National Unity, led by Prime Minister Dabeba, based out of Tripoli, and another based in eastern Libya, led by Fatih Bashaga, who claims to be the interim Prime Minister of Libya. He is backed by General Khalifa Haftar, commander of the Libyan National Army, as well as the Libyan House of Representatives. This time around, clashes happened between forces loyal to Bashaga and those loyal to Dabeba. The Abdul Hamid Dabeba-led administration in Tripoli claimed that the fight broke out after forces loyal to Fatih Bashaga tried to take control over the capital on Friday. However, according to media reports, the clashes started after forces loyal to the Dabeba administration stormed a camp belonging to forces loyal to Bashaga administration. The militias also attacked various hospitals and prevented the medical staff from trying to evacuate civilians from the areas of fighting. According to a statement issued by UNICEF, at least four medical centers were destroyed in the attack on Saturday. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres issued a statement on Saturday calling for immediate cessation of violence in Tripoli, expressing concern over the killing of civilians. The UN support mission in Libya also issued a statement expressing its concerns about the clashes. This was the second such attempt by Fatih Bashaga loyalists to get hold of capital Tripoli since he was elected by the Libyan parliament in February as Prime Minister. In May, after the failure of an attempt to capture the capital, Bashaga had announced that his government would operate from Sirte. The Beba was appointed Prime Minister as a part of the Libyan Political Dialogue Forum, or the LPDF, in February last year at the end of its first round of talks. Bashaka has claimed that the Beba led government of national unity is illegitimate since its term has expired and it has failed to fulfill its mandate of holding elections in December. However, the Beba has refused to step down, claiming that he will only hand over power to an elected government. The Beba administration has also claimed that there were talks with Bashaga before the clashes broke down on Friday. A GNU statement claimed that attacks were carried out despite substantial progress being achieved to spare the capital from violence and holding elections by the end of the present year. Like most of the other institutions in the country, the three-member interim presidential council also appointed by the Libyan Political Dialogue Forum in February and the UN support mission in Libya have refused to take any sides. War in Libya broke out following NATO-led intervention in the country in 2011, supporting a coup which uprooted long-term ruler Muammar Gaddafi from power. Since then, the country has been divided in several parts, each controlled by rival groups. In 2020, a ceasefire was achieved under UN-initiated talks and LPDF was constituted to establish peace in the country.